Praise be to God and may He be glorified today. Welcome to Church on the Beach, the beautiful sunrise and the inspired Word of God. We will continue on with Heart of Fire. I trust your heart's been stirred with a new fire and a love and a passion for God and His powerful Word. Jesus said in John chapter 6 verse 53, my words are spirit, they are life. In other words, they are creative. In the beginning, God spoke, the Holy Spirit brought it to pass. And Jesus upholds all things by the word of his power. What an amazing God we serve. Let's get back on the road to Emmaus. And remember, Emmaus means the place of hot springs. Want your heart to bubble up. To overflow with a new love, a new fire for God. And Jesus began to walk with two of the disciples, but they did not know him. Then the one whose name was Cleopas said to him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? And have you not known the things which happened there in these days? He said to them, What things? So they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and all the rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. You can read for yourself what else they said in Luke 24. Jesus answered them and also rebuked them saying, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all the prophets as they have spoken. Should not have Christ suffered and entered into his glory? In the book of Hosea, chapter 3, verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yet we know in the world today with modern technology and communications, there is more knowledge than there's ever been before. The prophet Daniel in chapter 12 verse 4 predicted this. But you Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase. We're living in times right now where we need to know that we can be distracted by so many things rather than spending time in the presence of God and face-to-face -face relationship with Him. In Psalm 16, in the presence of the Lord, there is the fullness of joy, and at His right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Jesus, beginning at Moses and all the prophets, He expounded to them all the scriptures concerning Himself. Soon they approached the village of Emmaus. Jesus was going to pass on by, but it was so late in the day, and the two disciples urged him to stay with them the night. They wanted to spend more time with him. How many times have we heard that scripture? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open up, I will come into him and sup with him. So Jesus went into their house, took bread, broke it, blessed the bread, and gave it to them. Then all of a sudden their eyes were open and they knew him after seven long miles on a dusty road. Only after they had been fed the word of God and given the bread did they have revelation knowledge and their eyes were open. The psalmist said, Open my eyes, O Lord, that I might Behold wondrous things from your word. Then Jesus vanished from their sight. Verse 32, And they said to one another, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us on the road and while he opened the scriptures to us? How life-giving and creative is God's word to us when he speaks from heaven. It will make our heart burn, set it on fire, change our life, give us new direction. Faith arises, for faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. 
hope comes as a blazing light shining into all of our circumstances. Courage to rise up again. An inspired, quickened word from God can change your life forever. God bless you. See you next week with Church on the Beach.